Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh um, Good day again everyone Today we will be discussing about problems Examples of problems involving set cardinality Using the Venn diagram Okay. So when we talk about set cardinality um, We are not very specific w- uh, about the elements of the set We are just um, discussing about how many they are So for example I have this given um, Set A which is 1, 2, 3 Okay. And when we talk when we talk about the cardinality of set A, which is denoted as this one, N parenthesis the name of the set, we're just simply stating how many they are. Okay. And we are not actually um, very particular about the actual elements. So for example, let's have this problem. So there are 40 students in grade 10. 25 of them like English, 28 students like Filipino. How many students like both English and Filipino? So, firstly, let's uh, look at the given. Yung unang set natin is 40. 40 students. We're not very particular. Sino-sino ba yung mga 40 students na yun? So, you, uh, we will not be asking um, sino yung panguna, pangalawa, and so on. Okay? We're just stating that all in all, for the whole grade 10, there are 40 students. So, since this is uh, only talking about the grade 10 students, so we can consider the grade 10 as our universal set. Which is of course ang universal ang cardinality ng ating let me write it down the cardinality of our universal set is 40 okay next naman po we are talking about English naman okay so let's uh, denote the e English as e okay so when we are talking about the cardinality of those who are liking English the answer is just simply 25 and lastly let's denote the cardinality of those who like Filipino, the answer is 28. Okay? But let's, uh, let's meaning meron tayong dalawang set on this one. So, let me try to draw this one. Okay? So, it's always intersecting. Bakit? Kasi may mga students na they like English and at the same time they like Filipino and so on. Okay? So, for this case, ang students natin would be 40. 40 yung nasa labas, meaning 40 students are part of the universal set okay so it is always written on the rectangle rectangle okay now as for the set name we will label it as e for english and f for filipino okay so uh, just for you to have an image ano ba yung cardinality na 25 pag sinabi nating students who like english eto sila so, ibig sabihin, may mga sudyante rin na gusto ng English pero gusto rin ng Filipino. Pero hindi naman sinabi yon Ang sinabi lang, those who like English. And all in all, they are 25. etong shaded part, okay? The next one would be those who like Filipino. So, ito yan. So, ito mga may gusto ng Filipino, they are 28. Okay? So, kasama itong part na to. Ito, itong part na yan. Okay? So, they are 28. Now, if we are asking those who like English only, ito lang yan. Those who like English only. Okay? Ito lang. Kasi kapag ka nadamay na to, kasama na sa bilog yung Filipino, therefore, they also like Filipino. So, itong given natin, most likely, this given, itong 25 of them like English, it is this one. Kasi hindi naman sinabing they like English only. So, very specific tayo. We are analyzing. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin English only, ito lang. Pero pag sinabing English, specifically, lahat yan. Okay? So, next one po. Ang sabi lang man dito is, um, 28 students like Filipino, ibig sabihin, ito yan. Okay? Kasi if it is stated there in the statement na Filipino only, ito lang yung kailangan natin. Okay? So, I hope you followed on that. So, ngayon, ang tanong, how many students like both English and Filipino? Okay. Now, in that case po, ang mangyayari dito would be, sabi po din na, like both English and Filipino. Okay? So, how do we actually try to solve for this case po? So, let's observe po yung given natin. Okay? Itong given po natin dito, itong total na itong E is 25. Okay? And itong F is 28. Pero you will notice na all in all, ang students ay ilan. All in all, the students are just simply 40. So, kaso, pag pinag-add yung 25 and 28, ano magiging sagot? So, 25 plus 28 is 
ilan? That is um, 13, I guess. And then, this is 53. So, sobra tayo dun sa total na 40. So, ibig sabihin, it's very obvious dito na may mga sudyante na nandito sa gitna. Okay? Here in the middle. For in these people in the middle, they like both English and Filipino. So, how do we actually take those things po? So, ang ginagawa lang natin dito is we are assuming, okay, yung maximum, which is 40, okay? And then, ang ginagawa natin, yung maximum na total students dapat, which is 40, ibabawas natin siya doon sa sum na itong dalawa. Which is, of course, 53. Okay? Yan yung sum nilang dalawa. Because uh, subtracting this one will yield us ano ba yung sa kanila yung sobra, okay? Which is actually 13. Okay? So, why why do we need to have 13? Okay? Bakit, bakit importante na isubtract natin? Because this is what would happen. So, knowing na ang middle ground nila is, actually, ito pa yung mangyari, ha? kapag kinuha niyo yung sum ng dalawa, this one, yung hindi naka-only, okay, this is for Filipino and English, and sinubtract niyo sa total number of sets, your answer will be 13, and 13 would actually be called the intersection, okay? So, ito yung intersection nila, 13, okay? So, how do we actually get ilan ba yung 25 and ilan yung 28, Okay? So, dito, mangyayari dito, you will take 25 now and you will subtract it by 13. Kasi ang aim natin dito, when it comes to cardinality, the total of E must still be equals to 25. Okay? And the total of 20 of F, the Filipino, must still be equals to 28. Pero take note, meron na tayong 13 dito. So, the question is, kung ang isang buo ng E is 25, okay? And meron tayong 13 na dito, ilan na lang yung kulang? So, ang gagawin nyo, you will subtract again. So, this would just simply be 25 minus 13. The answer is 12. So, 12 students like English only. And of course, for this one, 28 minus 13. The answer is 15. And 15 students like Filipino only. And adding this 3, so alisin ko na tong dito sa taas. Okay. And adding this 3, this 12 plus 13, plus 15, the answer is 40, giving us a total of all the students. Okay? So, I hope you followed on that, yung steps natin, and tips to actually get yung ating um, cardinality ng each part ng ating Venn diagram. Okay? So, we will have another example on that on the next video. Okay? You can go back on this one if you would want to, and we will provide more examples pa. So thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.